Hello everybody and welcome to the to a, my fourth video including the introduction video. So today I will be teaching you guys a multiplication math trick that you might know or you might or you might not know. So there is one rule to this. Um, I'm gonna write it down. Rule. The rule is um, one or more numbers in the multiplication thing must end in a zero. I'm gonna, if you don't know this, sign can also mean numbers. More numbers must end in zero. Okay, so I'm gonna make an example of what I mean. So I'll do 135,000 times 300. So I'm going to solve it the normal way first, then I'll do the trick way. So the normal way would be just multiply the zero with every number. So the if you don't know, the rule of, of multiplying with the zero is if you multiply with the zero, any number that you multiply with the zero, the answer will be zero. So you can do the same thing for this. Also, when you multiply, you have to make an extra zero because you're moving on to the tenths place. So now we can start. So it'll so yeah. Now we can actually start real multiplying and do it with the three. So you see how time consuming this is, having to write all these extra zeros for no reason and having to multiply with these zeros when all you get is zeros an option. That's when the trick the trick comes in handy. So I have these two placeholders. Then now I start the real multiplying. I do this. Then I can do. We know that it's 15, so then the 1 goes here, then this is 9 plus 1, 10, then you multiply 3 times 1, 3, and then 4, and then you add everything. And when you add, this will just be the result, because when you add with 0, it's just going to be the same thing too. So this is your answer. Uh, yeah, so the answer is 40,500,000. Now here's the trick. When you're multiplying with zero, my trick just says, just forget about the zero ends. But if this was supposed to be 105,000, you cannot forget about the zero if it was here because there's a five that comes after it. So only the ending zeros. So now we can just have 135 times three. This would be 15. 10, you, because you add this, and then this would be 405. So now, you can't forget about these zeros, I just said for then, so you have to add them all back. So you get the same result, but you don't have to do all this extra stuff and this extra ending zero stuff. So it would just be 405, then you add all the zeros. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ending zeros, just like here. Okay, so now um, you can pause the video and I will give you a practice problem to do. It will be 105,000 times 450. Okay, pause the video and see if you can get it and then I will tell you the answer. Okay, hopefully now that you've, you paused the video and you've got in the answer, but if not, let's do the trick. So we'll get rid of these zeros for now, just for now. And then we'll do 105 times 45. This would be 25. 5 times 0, always 0, because, yeah. And then you'd add the 2, so you get 2. Then 5, then end in a 0. Then 0, and then it's a 2 again. Then 0, then... 2 again, and then 4, 1. Okay. So now we can add this. 5, 2, 7, 4. Now let's add back these four zeros, and we get 4, 7, 47. And then we get 2, 5, and all four zeros. So the answer you get would have been... Uh, 47,250,000. So, 
this trick is pretty useful to me whenever I am doing a multiplication problem that ends with zeros on a test or anything. It just helps you get it done faster, even if you know how to do it this long way. So I hope this will help you later in test. Um, hopefully you didn't know it and it came in handy. So yeah, thank you for watching this video.